Here he come. Come on, Aiden. We'll put the treasure chest right over here so that we can let everybody see what's going on. Boy, you got a good haircut there, Hoss. I like it. Doesn't he look good? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's open her up and see what's going on. Oh, there you go. Okay, what's we got? In, oh, another box. And, and, oh, there's an envelope. Let's see what that, look inside. Ugh. A stamp. It's a postage stamp. Not just a postage stamp, but a holiday postage stamp. What what's on that one, there, Aiden? What is that? It's a candle. Can you see that? <laughs> well, if we had a monitor, you'd be able to see it. But uh, for those of you at home, <laughs> can you get that, Steve? Good deal. Okay. But trust me, it's a postage stamp, and it has a red candle that is lighted. And it's got a blue background. looks like with uh, all kinds of lights that are blue. The color blue, what is that the color of? Advent, yeah, and it means? And it's my favorite color. Well, hey, I like it. I like blue, too. It's the liturgical color of hope. Hope. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so today... In, in our gospel, we have John the Baptist coming on the scene. And John is the guy who shows up before Jesus does. And you know something? Jesus and John were cousins. You have cousins? Do you? Yeah. A lot. A lot, huh? Okay. Well, we, we don't know if there were any other cousins, but we do know that John and Jesus were. And uh, before Jesus comes on the scene, before he shows up to start his ministry... We have his cousin John that comes, and what he's doing is he's preaching. You know what preaching is, right? It's talking to people, okay? Kind of like what I do for the sermon, you know? Kind of like what you're doing right now. Well, sort of, yeah. Kind of what I'm doing right now, that's right, yeah. I didn't think it was that obvious, but... Um. <laughs> okay, so uh, he comes, and he has a message that people were really waiting to hear. And that is, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But he said something, I am the one that uh, a greater one is going to follow. He is so much greater than I am. I'm not worthy to stoop down and even untie his, his sandals. Yeah. They, they, they didn't have Velcro back there, but uh, they would untie sandals, Okay. But what, G, what, what, uh, what John is saying is that I am not worthy, you know. I don't deserve to be able to untie your shoes, right? I'm not. I don't need one anyway. Okay. I don't need to be worthy. All right. So what is, how can we apply a stamp like this to today's gospel? What do you think? If John is talking about... Uh, <laughs> okay, as soon as you're done there. One more. There you go. You need to shorten those up there. They're really hanging off the end, aren't they? Oh, okay. Very good. All right, let's do that last one and be done with it. Good man, good man. Okay, so we have... Work with me. Okay? We have a stamp, and what can that mean? Well, what does a stamp do? What, is it, what does a stamp go to? Um, on, a, on an envelope? On an envelope, that's right. And because we put the stamp on the envelope, it can go to various places. Put it on, on. Okay, an envelope. An envelope on potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Hey, hey, it doesn't make any difference, okay? You know what I mean? Right? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> All right, so if you put a stamp on an envelope, okay, you can address it, and you can send it to various places. You can send it overseas. 
You can uh, do all kinds of things with it. Well, when John the Baptist came and he was preaching and he was baptizing, it was like uh, John was putting God's stamp on the ministry that was going to be Jesus. Because Jesus was going to send his disciples into all the world. But it begins here with John the Baptist. He sets it all up. And he says, pay attention. He says, pay attention because God's kingdom is among you and Jesus is coming. And that's what we're waiting for, isn't it, Aiden? Huh? We're waiting for Jesus to come back. Yeah, look over here. Yeah, work with me again, okay? We're going to keep this out because there's something you have to do with it in a minute, remember? Yeah, okay. So, let's remember, what you see a stamp, you can remember that Jesus is going to send his disciples, and you are one, and eventually you're going to be able to tell others about Jesus. And that's pretty cool. That's so, a lot of yeah, it is. Okay, let's have a prayer. What do we do when we pray? We do what? You, you say it nice and loud so folks can hear it. We our hand, we bow our heads, we close our eyes, and okay. we're showing God respect. That's right. We bow our heads, close our eyes, and fold our hands because we're showing God respect. So let's have a prayer. Thank you, God, for sending your, uh, your servant, John the Baptist, to uh, help Get ready for Jesus to come. And we thank you that when Jesus comes, he gives us all that we need to know and all we need to do because we love him so that we can tell others about Jesus and they can join with us in uh, getting ready to celebrate your birth. So hear our prayer of thanksgiving in Jesus' name. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen. All right, okay. Now, here you go. Your mission should you choose to accept it, is to go and find somebody. Remember, it has to be somebody you haven't seen before. Okay? All right. Here he goes on his mission.